Hi, I'm Joe English, and I'm at Event Tech in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I talk with Google's Chris Tillman about designing events with data. So where do you see it going from here? How do you see data and the information that you're collecting shaping your events in the future? Well, what's really interesting, and you know, looking around this, this room here at Event Tech, there's all sorts of crazy technology that's doing really interesting, really powerful things for events. Uh, However, I really think we've just scratched the surface. I think we're headed towards, um, I hate to use the word you know, paradigm shift because it's kind of cliche, um, but we're moving away from having an event where a bunch of people sit in a room and watch a presentation to something where the attendees are actually participating, where we're having back and forth, we're having Q&A, we're having audience response via mobile devices, via other means, via social media. We're able to directly engage with people in the moment, in the context, in real time. And I think that's going to drive a really big shift in the way that people interact at events. Yeah, I absolutely agree. It's about uh, interacting, engaging the audience because you've brought them to this place. Right. And Put I mean, them together. Especially right? a group of, of event marketers. Yeah. I mean, they've seen it all and done it all. They know, they know how the sausage gets made. You've really got to engage them. So that's yeah. why I, I like coming here and seeing the way that we're you know, event marketers maybe were a little jaded bunch having seen how everything goes backstage, but this stuff is really compelling. Yeah, and in your, your audience in particular, they're, they're probably highly technical in many cases. It would be a surprise if they didn't know about the technology coming in unless you're showing them something new. Right, exactly. I mean, you know, we do a lot of events of a lot of different types, and so we have all different kinds of people. Um, but yeah, for something like Google I.O., for example, where we have 6,000 developers coming, we know they're already going to understand the basic technology. They're excited for whatever we're going to announce or show them or demo. Um, and they also have a phone, a tablet, a laptop, a smartwatch, something else. They'll, they'll have a, a whole host of devices that we then have to plan for. So that's one of the areas where we gather data to improve our events is we, you know, we track the, the kind of average number of devices per user from year to year, uh, particularly for I.O. So we're on track to see it actually reach average devices per user too, which is kind of a, a threshold that we've been approaching for a while. Yeah. Um, you know, that, when, when did smartphones really start to kind of come onto the scene? I think 2006, 2007. Yeah. And now we're to the point where everybody has two devices that they use about and care about enough to connect at an event when they're doing all this other yep. stuff. So yep, we've got our tablet. It's a we've really got, exciting time. Maybe our watch, you know. Yeah. yeah. But it's also a little scary um, because every one of these devices is a little radio transmitter and you can run into a whole host of issues where you've got interference, you've got crosstalk. So that's a big part of what we do and plan for and work around and gather data on. Um, an example, we did a show uh, in Dublin and you know we had an empty arena and we had a demo that we needed to do the next day. Uh, and there's really no way to guess what it's going to be like when 5,000 people come in, each of them with a little radio transmitter on their phone in their pocket. Um, but we had a concert there the night before with the same crowd on the same Wi-Fi network. So we brought them all in for the concert and we stood backstage just behind the band playing, running tests for this demo, measuring the spectrum and seeing just how bad it was with 5,000 people. And we learned, well, this is not going to work at 10 feet away. Oh, it's not going to work at six feet away. OK, it's going to work at two feet away. So it's not data in aggregate. It's not analytics. It's really all about the context. And this, we knew there was only one chance to get those same 5,000 people in the same room with the same uh, networking situation and say, OK, this, we're going to measure this right now and use it to make it a better experience tomorrow. Wow, well, that's fantastic. Yeah. It's great perspective. Thank you so much for talking to Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming.